Labour's Renters' Rights Bill will give more security in England and Wales to renters in the private sector to get repairs done more quickly, to end the misery of damp and mould and to end so-called no-fault evictions so people won't be made homeless through no fault of their own. It is the sound of crisis. If Labour wants to fix it, this is a good place to start. A leak that began in this flat three years ago hasn't been fixed. It always starts along here and then it spreads to the far wall. When it rained in South London two nights ago, it rained in here too. Zoe and Lexi pay a private landlord £2,000 a month to live in squalor. It's a lot of money, yeah. especially when half of the flat has basically been uninhabitable. The other night where we had this tub, which is, I think it's 45 litres. What, so you use this to catch the water? That was one. We had pots and pans covering the floor. You do get angry. You're just so caught up in just trying to get someone to answer the phone, trying to find out who's actually meant to be accountable for it. The government wants to impose a legal time limit on private landlords to make repairs. It's known as Awab's Law, after two-year-old Awab Ishak, who died in a mould-infested flat in Rochdale. We were with Awab's parents on the day the Conservative government told them of a new law in their son's name. But right now it only applies to social housing. Labour wants private renters to have the same protections as part of wider reforms. I pay 995 at the moment. In Dorset, 66-year-old Trevor will be homeless in three weeks' time, given a no-fault eviction notice by his landlord after he asked for repairs to be made. He's retired and now can't find anywhere else affordable. It's a kick in the teeth, isn't it? I've, I've worked all my life. Here I am, retired, and I've got to go back to work because if I don't, I can't survive. Labour will ban no-fault evictions, but Trevor says they must limit skyrocketing rents. He's just, well, I'm greedy. There's got to be a cap on how much they can put it up by each, each time. Labour has ruled out rent controls, but landlords think the reforms go too far. Neil has seven properties, but warns many will simply sell up. You're just going to get people going, it's just not worth it anymore. What I'm seeing right now is um, an ever-increasing uh, number of rights for tenants, which as, and I class myself as a good landlord, I find that really quite hard to take. Building more homes is ultimately the answer to this crisis. For now, um, for many, finding a safe, secure home will be a start. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10.